Hi guys, and welcome back to the Clean Scalpel. Um, as always, we're here to try to improve our surgical technique and to get better. And obviously, uh, the goal of the channel has always been to treat vascular surgery like athletes treat their profession, it's something that requires time and dedicated practice outside the operating room. So this is actually what's what we've all been working for, which is practice putting back the banana peel using the techniques we've learned. And again, try to focus on good form because again, as you start practicing right now, you're gonna develop these habits and then continue those habits, whether consciously or subconsciously. So now is a good time to practice them consciously. So let's get to it, guys. Um, I just have a uh, banana, nothing really special. Um, as the banana ripens, you'll notice that the skin gets softer and actually gets a little bit more challenging. If the banana is not ripe, then it'll actually be easier to perform these maneuvers. So first things first, we're just going to rip a little piece out of the banana like this. And uh, the reason I recommend this, some people will use, you know, pig's feet, um, uh, Penrose uh, drains. Again, these are all good techniques. The reason I prefer the banana is because there's some weight to it. Okay, so it's not going to move on you. You don't necessarily have to go pin things down. Um, all you really need is a hemostat and some kind of suture and a pickup. So again, very minimal, so we have that here. I have a pickup here, I have a needle driver with a 3.0 needle proline on it, okay? So uh, let's get to it. This is again very, very simple. Now again, we're just going to be throwing forehands and then I'm going to show you a backhand and we'll take it from there. So first of all, my forehand is, um, I'm going to do it with my fingers in the hole, okay, for a little bit more control, and I'm just going to reapproximate where this banana peel should be, okay, and we're just going to get started. So, again, I'm loading the needle a little bit away from me. Using my left hand, again, I'm holding it appropriately. I'm not holding it like the claw hand or you're like you're grasping tongs, letting it rest in between my uh, thumb and uh, index finger. And a lot of the times you don't even need to hold the tissue, but here we're going to give it some support with the left hand, and we're going to take this bite. And we're going to do a couple of things right, we're going to do a couple of things wrong. So I've taken this bite. Now you notice, if I just go and pull the needle out without using the curve of the needle, it actually tears through the banana peel, okay? So it tore through the banana peel. That portion of the banana peel it actually is now no good. And I'll change it a little bit so you can see that. Uh, really, you know, it's a tear, it's not really doing much for us, and you will actually tear tissue if you use that same technique. But let's go back and now try to use a little bit better technique. So we're going to take a bite, giving some countertension, okay. Here's the forehand bite, okay, and I let go. Now, you notice a lot of times you, you'll see that people want to grab the needle on the other end, most of the time, the needle will not necessarily move, which then allows for you to just use your right hand, and like we talked about, we're going to pronate, grab the needle in the front, get it to about 75% in, click, and then move out. And you notice now that the suture has not torn through the banana peel, okay? Same thing, again, we're, I'm going to reload the needle just perfectly because I want every bite, especially early on, to be perfect. I'm going to grab this part of the tissue, don't really even need to sometimes, and just take that bite. Now, if I pull it through, if I just grab it and pull it, it's going to tear. So I'm going to pronate, grab the tip of the needle, get it to where I want it to, okay, and with my fingers in, I'm doing a little reload technique here, and boom. Now we have the needle loaded. Now, going back to the basics, a video a long time ago, I'm going to instrument tie this, working inside the V, grabbing the tip of it, crossing my hands, and the knot comes down square, okay? So again, working inside the V, grabbing it, crossing my hands, knot comes down square, okay? So quick and easy way to practice. Now, the other thing you notice is if I actually, as I'm tying this, if I decide to tie too hard or pull up on this, there's a chance, you can see it's still holding the banana peel, but as the banana peel 
gets more ripe, there's a chance it'll rip right through, okay? And that should be a good sense for you to know that, hey, you're putting too much weight pulling up when you want to bring the needle down. So with a single uh, set of knots in place, we're going to go back to doing what we did, which is taking forehands. Now, you notice the nice thing about the banana peel is that it's lined up for you nicely. You can actually see if you're actually traveling too much and get a sense of how that's going. Now, we're going to take this bite in one. So you can see the, the banana peel here. I'm going to pronate back, stick, turn. Again, on this side, I'm pronating my hand, getting it about 75% in, hyper supinating so I can grab it, and then supinate out, and that's our next bite. Okay, so quick and easy way to practice, guys. Okay, same thing, taking the bite. Okay. So a couple things you notice, I'm not even really using my left hand. What some people can do, and I would encourage this because I think this is going to be our next episode, is now you're here, you get the needle, use a curve out, and then it's not wrong to grab the needle here and then reload it as a forehand. So the next topic that we're going to discuss is reloading techniques, and this is where it gets a lot of fun. You can do a hand reload, you can do needle manipulation reload. There's a lot of different ways to uh, address this. So we'll, we'll go through all that stuff. But in the meantime, let's take one more forehand bite here, okay? Okay, it's a nice forehand bite. And now we're gonna switch it up to the backhand. So again, backhand, very similar. Things. It's loaded slightly away from me, as you guys can see here. Uh, if you're keeping your fingers in, uh, that's fine. Remember, you got to hyper, hyper, supinate, take the bite. Again, I'm not, I'm not torquing it. Otherwise, it will tear through this thing. I'm gonna pronate this, and again, nice. I love the back end. It's a nice, gentle motion. Always forces you to use the curve of the needle. And here we are, back to where it needs to be. Okay, so let's do this now. We're going to try to make some errors. So with the backhand, if I take it here, and you notice if I lift up, notice how the banana is moving up? That's, it'll give you a sense as to how much tension you're putting. If you're not putting any tension and using the curve of the needle, the banana should not move, and you should feel the needle move really without a lot of resistance, okay? So let's do that a couple more times here. Backhand, take the bite. I'm gonna try to just pull this through and you can see again the banana peel, the banana moves and I can feel that this, just pulling it out, a little bit more resistance. And you also notice that there's now a tear in that tissue. I don't know if that comes out clearly, but this is how you start getting a feel for what's a good bite, what's a bad bite, how much torsion you're really putting on the tissue, and this will start giving you some sensitivity. Now, this exercise, I must have done this to 100 bananas, okay? Um, you'll be able to get a lot of different, and you can pull it through if you want to here. You can get different bites out of it, okay? Here, there's another, there's another two things I can put back together right there. Um, so you'll get a, you'll get a lot of out of out of this, okay? And I did this a lot during my first two years when I was doing a lot of general surgery. Obviously, when I switched uh, into um, doing only vascular with the Pittsburgh Integrated Program, um, things changed. The banana peel, though it give gave me some tactile sensation, wasn't necessarily uh, the best for that type of training. So for that, what I would recommend, and this is uh, directly from Dr. Jay Cho, who actually taught this to me while we're doing a bypass on an unfortunate patient who occluded their popliteal artery after uh, a knee replacement, um, he told me to practice on apple peels. And when you're working with 5Os and 6Os, there's no better practice than apple peels. If you rotate the needle and you're not using the curve of the needle, you will tear through that apple peel. So take the apple, cut a couple slices, start putting them back together, forehand and backhand. And again, guys, what we're going to be building to, needle manipulation going from a forehand to backhand, 
making that motion very fluid. Because if you can look slick with the needle, then you'll obviously get to do a lot more as a medical student, as a resident, so on and so forth. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this because this is how I spent most of my second year, putting bananas back together. And um, yeah, it helped me tremendously and I hope it can provide the same for you. Uh, until then, I'll see you next week and we'll go over uh, reloading techniques. Okay, have a good one.